everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw Darcy Lewis from the Marvel MC Universe and WandaVision. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpie. So if you want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out for myself, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Okay, so uh, the escape artist. That's basically what I'm doing. That version of her. Um, I, was, I was going for a... a well, I mean, you know exactly what I'm going for, right? It's like I, I, I saw, I watched the same show you did, and uh, I loved. Uh, well, I, I think she's great, and I'm, I am on team. Uh, uh, Darcy Wu, you know, like whatever you want to call it. I think her and Jimmy Wu should have their own show. Uh, I saw someone post this before, and I said this. Um, in the Jimmy Wu video, that I saw someone post that they should make a X-Files type kind of show. If you don't know what that is, it's about, you know, sci-fi, not sci-fi, but, you know, cryptids and whatnot. Um, an X-Files type show with Jimmy Woo solving mysteries X-Files style once a week, right? Now, as awesome as that would be, think about how great it would be is if his assistant, well, they were just working together. If Darcy Lewis was on that team as well my gosh that would be an awesome show uh I, I think it needs to happen um if if disney is going to I, i'm gonna get on a, on a little little high horse here a little uh um what do you call it a soapbox and talk about stuff and if disney is going to cave to peer pressure of people uh telling them fix this make that you're ruining my childhood star wars and we're gonna make stuff you know if they're listening to people listen to this make the darcy Wu show i mean not darcy Wu, because that sounds like they're married but the uh uh lewis woo or you know whatever you want to call it but i i think that would be awesome that would be such a good show and uh i i'm all i'm on board i would watch it you want you want content without Think about it too. They can do it. There's no superheroes. There's no, uh, well, I mean, there's going to be some special effects, kind of like the X Files. There's, there's no uh, uh, Iron Man suit you got to make. There's no flying Thor or stuff like that. If you're just to make a, you know, X Files show, whatever you want to call it, man, that would be awesome. That would be so, so good. I would, I would watch it. So anyway. I love her character. I think she's great. I, I love uh, Jimmy Woo's character. I think he's great. So, yeah, I think it would be really good if they did something like that. So, that's my pitch. That's my elevator pitch. It's a long ride, right? Okay, so, back to the drawing. So, what I'm doing here is the, the actually the escape artist, you know, like we talked about. And I'm just drawing her hands in cuffs. And I'm going to draw chains all around here. So I think what I'm going to do there is I'm just going to kind of mix it up a little bit. And so I got to draw the hair in front on top. And I'm not worried about the single um, links and everything. So what I'm going to do is almost, I think I'm going to try a different style. Usually I've come up with a zigzaggity technique is what I call it. And I don't think I'm going to do that this time. I think I'm going to try something a little bit different. But uh, let me see if I can get her look down real fast because her glasses are a big part of it, right? And so I want to make sure I get room for those and I get them to look right. And that also limits my room for the face or for the, the, the eyes. So I want to make sure I get that look right. And it, it seems a little smaller for some reason, but I don't know why. But the other, the other problem is I'm not a good caricature artist, so I can't make it look like the actual actress. I need to practice that. 
I'm gonna try. Oh, and that's what I always say too, whenever I tell you like, you know, it doesn't bother me, I'm okay, I'm good with, with not being perfect. Uh, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to see what I can do here and, and try to make it look like the person. But what I, what I have kind of uh, accepted and agreed with my drawing style is that I'm good with drawing um, uh, cosplay people. So I look, I, my drawings look like someone who dresses up as the actual character. And that I'm okay with. And so yeah, so I'm okay with if it doesn't look 100% like them because it looks like someone dressed like them. Does that make sense? And maybe that's just me excusing myself to not have to draw them and for not drawing it perfectly. But again, I'm fine with that. I'm okay. So uh, yeah, so for the links, I'm just, I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna draw, you know, uh, kind of something like, well, you'll see, you'll see. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna add some small details just to make it work. Yeah, 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 that's gonna work. Okay, all right, so I, I got a plan now. I got a plan, I got to sketch. So let me erase some of these sketch lines real fast and then we'll get going. Because I want my Sharpie to stand out, not my pencil. And down here it's good, like this ended up just being the sketch. But as I got more confident, like initially I put my lines down, think of where I want it to go, and then I start to press harder as I get more confident with the placement. Those are my confidence lines. So when I erase lightly like this, the initial sketch lines, they disappear pretty fast because they're so light that they disappear with just a light erasing. And so we're gonna get rid of our sketchiness and keep our confidence, and that's how you live your life. Get rid of your sketchiness and keep your confidence. And I think that's good right there. I think that's enough that I can see where I'm gonna go, but enough of it has disappeared. So let's welcome everybody that skipped. Let me retape my paper down real fast. Okay, so let's welcome everybody that skipped and get going. Oh man, I gotta retape everything. I keep saying that, but I don't do it. All right. Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm gonna be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen, mostly the fine point, but the pen's a little finer than the fine point. You can find things that the fine point can't quite find. I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of the sketch lines, but left myself enough to see where I'm gonna go. And if you wanna see any more Marvel characters or just playlists in general, check out the playlist. I do so many drawings that people request stuff. Look in the playlist, because chances are I may have already done it. If not, send me a request and we'll see what we can do. So I've got her head. If these are the eyes, I've got her head turned like this slightly. So you're gonna see more of this one than this one, but also we've got glasses going around. So I'm gonna be very minimal with the eyes, all right? So I'm gonna draw the top of the lids like this. Okay. And it looks about good with the placement for me. So I'm gonna draw a little bit of a retina like that, kind of looking at you, okay? But that's it, because it's gonna to bleed too much if I draw much more. So I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna to try to dab just a little bit of the, the, the pupil, maybe right there in the center. But that's it, see, it's, all, it's all, almost not even registering, so it's almost like not even worth it on my drawing. If you can get in there, go for it. But like I said, mine's, mine's gonna to start to bleed if I go much further. So I'm gonna draw a little bit of a, of, a, of a eyelash like that. Maybe draw a little bit more on top here, just to give it like a, a nice, pretty eyelash on top. And for the bottom of the eye, that's all I do is I can just kind of come down on the edge like that because mine is so tiny. Here, I'm not even gonna worry about it because the uh, um, glasses are gonna hide a lot here. So again, I'm gonna give her a little bit of an eyelash just to highlight that she's got a little bit of makeup on top and that's it. That's all I'm gonna do because now I gotta draw those really, really thin glasses and do the best I can, but I'm not worried about it if it doesn't come out perfect. So the look is kind of a, a teardrop, kind of, but not really. Okay, I'm gonna do both of them together so I don't mess them up. All right, I like that. So now I'm gonna come over here and connect it. Just gonna go over like that. Over and connect it over here. Then connect it in the middle. Obviously it's got a bridge. Like that. And that's really all I wanna do. I would love to draw more, but it's gonna disappear. So I'm just gonna draw the top of her head. I'm not even gonna draw where the eye connects there. I'm gonna leave it open. I'm gonna draw the top of her head up like this, just a little bit to try to give me an idea of where we are. 
and I'll go ahead and draw a bit of a nose. There's not much I can put in here because, um, like, see, I can barely even draw eyebrows. Let's see if we can do something. How about if we do, because they're there, but they're kind of, eyebrows are always behind the glasses. I'm gonna try to do something like that, just to highlight that there's something there, right? It's a little, a little thicker. And that's it. So the reason I want to do that is because the brow comes through here into the nose and down a little bit like that. So I'm going to draw the nostril over here, a little bit of that one, and that's it. That's all I can really draw because again, this is too tiny to get a lot of detail in. Let's go ahead and draw the mouth. Something like that. And I'm going to draw lips. Usually I, uh, if you draw lips, it looks like lipstick, but she's got lipstick on. So it's okay if we put it in there. Okay, so now I'm gonna put her chin right around here, and then I'm gonna bring it up. So I'm gonna draw her jawline over here. And this is gonna be her cheekbone. Oops, I kind of bumped it out a little bit, but that's okay because I'm gonna to start to thicken up some lines as I go. Because when I switch over to this Sharpie, you're gonna see a huge difference in line width. So I can kind of make up a few things. I can kind of hide a few things by drawing uh, thicker lines. And it helps me when I gotta fix a few things. But again, I'm okay if it's not perfect, you know? I'm gonna try, like I always say, I'm gonna try, but I'm okay if it's not perfect. Okay, there's the face. So, her hair is just parted on the side and over. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw that part so I know where I am. And then I'm gonna draw her uh, hairline and then the hair parted over. So the hairline is pretty much like that and the hair parted over it coming down like this. And again, that's just to, to guide me to where the hair goes. I, I, I don't wanna draw all the hairlines, I do, but I shouldn't draw every single hairline because um, it, it, it is brunette hair, but uh, it would look better if I do stuff with color rather than draw every single hairline, you know? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna push this hair, hairline back like this, and then that's gonna go underneath big locks. A lock coming down like this. Okay, and that's kind of guiding me with where I'm gonna place the hairlines, or the, ha the locks, the hair locks. Um, so let's draw the back of her hair. See, this is going back this because it doesn't all just part of the side some of it goes to the back and then it starts to flow over right so something like this and I'm just doing this just to give myself an edge to know where the uh, the her hair line is basically the, the outer lines again see I want to draw all the hair lines because it'd be so fun to draw that but I'm gonna do that with color I'm gonna draw a few more things just to help me I'm gonna draw like her neckline right here into her uh, um, jacket. And uh, I'm gonna draw the hair first and then do the chains because there's a lot of chains. I'm gonna do the edge of her jacket over here too and bring the hair in. So this is her ear. And kind of just kind of play around with some locks. What I mean by that is, I'm gonna make it curled like that. And again, I'm thickening my edges. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. Because remember, you draw how you draw and I'll draw how I draw. Obviously, it's the name of my channel. And we'll meet somewhere in between. Okay, so again, we'll do more locks. Oops, shouldn't it be that, that hard of an edge it should have been a little softer I'm kind of playing around with you know if her hair is curled what it might look like I know I'm spending a lot of time on the hair but it's mostly gonna be chains and hair. That's what we're really gonna spend most of our time on anyway. Okay, and then more of it's gonna come out. Uh, 
Um, let's see, we'll do a few more lines like this just because it gets a little messy tangled out here. And that'll kind of make it uh, uh, real. Okay, then there's gonna be chains, but I, I wanna make sure I put that in front of the chains. Okay, so same thing here. We're gonna finish off the back of her hair. A little bit of that extra like I was talking about. You know, kind of spread the locks. It's a little exaggerated by drawing one big lock like that, but since we can't draw every single tiny little hair, this will kind of help us with uh, um, with making uh, some some portions of of, uh, of of that aren't in the locks, you know. So there you go. I'm drawing all the lines. I just said I'm not going to do that, but I'm drawing all the lines. So let me just thicken up some of these edges real fast, so you can also tell the difference between this and the chains, and then we'll get going. Okay, so. What did I just say? What did I just say? I'm not drawing all the locks. Stop it. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do now is, I, so I wanna draw the chains and the lock and all that stuff. So um, let me try to, uh, okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try something a little bit different. Uh, I definitely know I wanna put the lock right here and I want a chain going through it. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw that lock. It's in front and you always draw what's in front first because uh, you won't draw through anything if you're if you're planning it like this. But if you uh, if you just plan correctly, you can put stuff in front first, and then you don't have to worry about what's behind because you already took care of that. You made room for it, so to speak. Okay. So for her chains, I'm not going to do the the link, 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 link. I think I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to try it like this. I'm going to try. I'm going to draw almost like, like, it, it, would that be too messy? Should I just stick with the links? Let me see what it's going to look like. So if I got another one, the problem is, is that there's a lot of them. And so I'm trying to, you know what I mean? I'm trying to make it look a little bit, but see, I'm going to be doing that anyway. So. It's almost like why why try when it's 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 kind of dictating itself that no just stick with stick with the plan you know so uh, for her shoulders I'm gonna do and see it's gonna get messy that's what I'm afraid of is there too many too many chains too many lines and it's gonna get messy so let's do this let's let's see I'm gonna make a few I'm gonna go go ahead and do it the way I was doing it that way I know where it's gonna go. I know what I can add, and I know the direction I'm putting it in. And the reason I'm doing it like this is I'll show you in a second. So let me connect them. So now you're just going to connect the dots, right? And then you got to do the inside. And like that, it's it's basic, basic chains like we've been doing since we were kids, since we were, you know, first drawing. I'm not worried about the way they turn because a lot of times they turn you know they're not perfectly uh, all going flat end like this but for our drawing it is for our drawing we're not worried about that kind of stuff and also it's like it's like too many chains honestly but I wanted to draw this character in the way that uh, they have her, right? So I've got my sketch, I know where it's gonna be, so that's also where I'm kind of like playing around with, well, it's gonna look like this. And I've got a little bit of freedom to mix it around a little bit because I can draw a bunch, but not a lot. The problem is, you know, I don't want to spend an hour drawing chains. You can if you want to, but I don't want you to sit here and have to watch me for an hour drawing a whole bunch of little chains. So. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. I'm going to say there's one going into here. They're not always on top. I just drew the ones on top and now there's some that are going to go underneath, right? And again, I'm just going to connect them. And 
see how they're not even perfect either they're some of them are round some of them are square it's just it's just my drawing it's just the way it's coming out and i'm okay with that again i'm not gonna you know cry about it i'm not gonna be upset that it's not perfect i'm fine with this let's see let's do one See, there's the, the other the other thing is after a while it gets messy enough that that you can't even tell that you're drawing chains uh, all over the place so I think I'm just gonna do one more going across since I have that right there just to finish out what I was doing right there and then uh, a little bit over here but that's it because if I try to draw realistically like every single one she has, if I were to count them and draw every single one like she has, it's going to get to a jumbled mess and you're not going to be able to tell anymore. And this is good enough. This, you can tell what we're doing, that there's a, a chain going across. And in so many words, no one's going to look at it and say, is that spaghetti? You know, they're not gonna look at it and say, is that a piece of cake? No, it looks like chains going across her, you know? So there you go, I think that's good for that. And I'm gonna keep moving on. So, here's the thing. I'm moving on to the big Sharpie. So, I'm gonna draw a little bit of the edge of her shoulder, like this, right? And I may come back and add like an extra outline around the entire thing, just to thicken it up, right? Shoulders going through here. There's the other arm coming down. And her hands are in cuffs in front of her like this. So we're going to basically just, uh, we're gonna draw a bunch of uh, fingers together. So I'm gonna draw the center of it like this. Here's, there's the connector. Then I'm gonna draw this knuckle back. There's the back of her hand to this pinky. So. I'm pretty much just gonna be doing this. That's as simple as that's gonna be. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here because the way she's got her hands together, bound together, there's only so much we can see anyway, right? And then draw the cuffs. Going around like that. And uh, I think, are they linked together? It's hard to see. They are chained together. Okay, all right, all right. Let me draw some, some knuckle lines real fast, just again, so you can kind of get an idea. That they're hands, right? I mean, because again, in so many words, it's hard to see anything besides, well, it's, it's, a, it's a bunch of lines together. And then we'll say, you can see your thumbs like this. We'll see that one's over here like that. But that's all you can see because of their, because of the, uh, the way they're bound. You know, the way they're, they're held together. Okay, so that's a majority of it. We're done, goodbye. <laughs> the rest is costume. So her wrist is right here. Cuffs are coming down like this. Going back up to her hand. And then she's got some buttons. And we're gonna say the elbow comes down to here and curves a little bit because of the cloth. But then the edge of the cuff has got a long straight edge. So that's why I wanted to do a separate like that. Okay, same thing over here. Let's see her shirt coming like this. You can't see much because of the bends. And that's all you can see of that arm over here. Um, there is some cool material on her uh, her uh, the jacket. There's a, a cool pattern, but I'm gonna do that with color. I'm not worried about drawing it in. Here's the center. It's down like that. And again, I can draw maybe one button here. Maybe you can see the other bottom part of that one. Let's do a couple right here for her cuff. 
And again, I want to draw more, but we're going to wait. All right. Okay, that's all I can draw there. So, um, let's draw, I'm trying to look at her actual outfit. Okay, cool. So now, we're just drawing it down. So, I'm gonna draw the, the bottom of her coat, kind of coming out a little bit like this, going in here. It's, it's uh, same thing, following her form. And then we're just gonna pretty much just come around here. Let me see, does it go all the way down the button? Yeah, it goes all the way down. say it goes up like this to the coat to the coat to the center and uh, the buttons kind of stop trying to match it right about there okay um, let's see cool and just pants pants and shoes that's all we're really drawing now so let me draw one leg over this way down to her knee, down to the uh, calf sticking out. But we're gonna go ahead and draw the um, edge of her boots. Other side of her leg to her knee, her thigh coming up. Let's see, this one's coming down this way. Again, down to the knee. Again, to the boot. Draw it like that. Back of the knee inside of the thigh to right there okay uh, I'll add a little detail in a second let's just finish up these boots I'm gonna come down here to the ankle to the foot this toe is more pointed at you like that down to the ankle I'm gonna go out a little bit for the bottom of the toe bring it up like this I know it looks a little strange but when you see the side view you'll see why there's the back of the calf to the ankle to the heel like this front of the boot, down to the ankle, top of the foot, like this, okay? So here it's like this, here it's like this. So I'm gonna draw the bottom of the shoe, bring it up like that. Now, there is a center of the shoe, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw it. I'm gonna go ahead and do, like it's like this. Again, just to, you know, give it that, that a little bit of difference like that now I'm gonna add some extras with the tiny sharpie okay um, so again that's just cloth so I'm just drawing some extra stretch lines we're gonna say the knees like this and when there's cloth I like to add extra um, crease lines just to show that it's it's, it's material being bent. Um, I kind of almost want to do the laces with the big Sharpie. It's like I should have done them. I should have done it like that with the smaller Sharpie, but that's fine. There you go, so you get an idea of where that is. So for the laces, yeah, let's do the laces real fast. Let me try it with, with the small Sharpie. If that doesn't work, we're gonna go to the big one. We're gonna tie them like this. Looks good to me, so. And that's good. See, it's just. Giving it a little bit of. I don't know, life. That's what I always say. It doesn't matter. Perfect. It's just giving it a little bit of give it a little bit of oomph, you know. So there you go. We'll do a bottom sole down here too, just to give it that oomph. All right. So there you go. I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is Darcy Lewis from the Marvel Cinematic Universe and WandaVision. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below, or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own, because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw, and we'll meet somewhere in between. 
Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures on how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.